The Meridian Global Leadership Awards honor those who by their actions and practices exemplify the positive impact individual and corporate leaders can have in their communities and in the world. These individuals are champions of Meridian's belief that all citizens can be global leaders and they share Meridian's commitment to promote international understanding through the exchange of ideas, people, and culture. Our Corporate Leader Award recognizes exceptional business leaders whose vision and management abilities have helped their company succeed in the global marketplace, increased international collaboration, and made societal impact a corporate priority. Uh, I note that last year we uh, conferred this award on Dr. Albert Borla, the CEO and Chairman of Pfizer, uh, during the pandemic. And I think given the topic of uh, ESG that we're focusing on today, it's very honor uh, Jane Frazier. Um, we are uh, very proud to call uh, City a, a partner at Meridian. They've been global uh, for over 100 years and really pioneered, I think, a lot of the work uh, as a U.S. company in the international arena. But they've always had a commitment to social responsibility. But more recently, under Jane's leadership, they've, they've really uh, elevated that uh, as a central priority. And I think uh, it was noted that uh, Jane is not only one of the most influential women leaders in the uh, economic arena, but leaders, period. And I will say that uh, I think she's an excellent role model for, for many. And I hope that uh, many of the young people watching today will see that they too can achieve uh, from anywhere. And in, in Jane's case, uh, it was originally from Scotland. I will note we have had a uh, Robert Burns celebration here at Meridian. Um, we, uh, we also uh, note that she's traveled uh, all over the world and has recently uh, been CEO of, of Citigroup in, in Latin America prior to coming back to New York. Uh, I also will note that uh, she has diplomats in her extended family and her. I note that uh, in her husband's family is a U.S. ambassador who served in the Western Hemisphere a number of years ago. My father as well was a, was a career diplomat, so that runs uh, in her family. Hopefully one of her children will choose a career in, in diplomacy uh, as well as, which maybe now can be in, uh, in the corporate world with the ESG priorities. Um, you've also been a terrific leader during the pandemic in caring for your employees, uh, as we have sought to do here at Meridian and offering flexibility uh, to work from home uh, in, in an understanding that, you know, these are human beings that, uh, that drive these organizations and taking care of them. And in your role in helping uh, you know, chair the uh, uh, partnership for New York City. You've, you've helped look at how uh, one of our most important cities, they will tell you it's the most important city, but uh, can uh, can navigate through what was a challenge uh, for, for hundreds of thousands of people and took many lives and one that we're not through yet, but we hope we see the light at the end of the tunnel. So uh, in recognition of your efforts to make societal impact a priority for city, we are honored to recognize you as the Meridian Corporate Leader of the Year. Congratulations, Jane. Well, Ambassador, thank you so much. Um, this is truly a, a, a great honor um, that I uh, proudly accept on behalf of Citigroup. And uh, we shall certainly endeavor to continue to be leaders uh, across multiple dimensions of the ESG agenda in the years ahead in collaboration with our wonderful countries that we operate in. Thank you well, so much. Thank you for your leadership and keep up the fantastic work. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to hand things over to ServiceNow General Counsel, Russ Elmer, who will present the 2021 Meridian Global Citizen Award. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm Russ Elmer, General Counsel at ServiceNow, and what an honor it is to represent ServiceNow 
in the presentation of the Meridian Global Citizen Award. Through their diplomacy, leadership exchange, culture, and convening work, Meridian has the opportunity to train and engage global leaders on a regular basis. This award recognizes the best among those leaders. The Meridian Global Citizen Award honors one distinguished leader each year whose outstanding contributions and commitment to society have resulted in stronger international partnerships, greater understanding between nations, and healthier, more secure, and prosperous world. This year's awardee is Biplab Katan Pal, an NGO leader, a social entrepreneur, and a water resource management visionary. Biplob is one of a small handful of leaders who have participated in not one, but two of the U.S. Department of State's premier professional exchange programs, the International Visitor Leadership Program. Meridian was the NGO partner who organized his most recent program in 2019, which included visits to Washington, D.C., Phoenix, Arizona, and Lincoln, Nebraska. I also understand that Biplob made many important connections in Portland, Oregon, during his 2004 U.S. program. Biplob is the innovator of Bungru, a unique drought and flood defeating technology that we're about to learn more about. To date, more than 150,000 ultra poor farming families across India, Southeast Asia, East Asia, and Africa got emancipated from food insecurity and abject poverty thanks to Biplob and his work. Alongside his partner, Tripti Jain, he also established the Nairita Services Private Limited, a social enterprise that is enabling poor women farmers to transform themselves as women climate leaders and help their peer groups for doubling of crop income, disaster risk reduction, and climate resilience. Let's learn more about his work in this short video. When I picked up my work in the developmental sector, it was a very caustic experience picking up a profession where there is no money, no respect, no dignity. Gujarat is one of the driest Indian states with temperatures soaring really high in summers. Farming communities endure this agonizing heat only to let heavy monsoons ruin their lives again. In most Indian states, erratic rains leads to waterlogging, and for the rest of the year, farmers experience severe water scarcity. That's when I started looking for a solution, and the idea of Bhungru took shape. Bhungru is a water harvesting technique that filters, injects, and stores excess storm water within subsoil, which the farmer can use for irrigation in months without water. The interesting part is that the whole process is led by Omen. A single unit of Bhungru caters to 22 acres of land and holds up to 40 million liters of water. We have transformed over 40,000 acres of barren lands, helping marginal farmers all over India. Bhungru banana lide amane alag alag jatna ame pako vavi sakke chhe, alag alag rutuo lai sakke chhe na tena lide amari avak vadi chhe. The best change is that their monsoon crop is saved. If you save the monsoon crop, you are saving the food. If they have the food, they don't need to go and beg in front of anyone. We are close to 4,000 units on the ground, and some of them also in Southeast Asia and Africa. And now my next target is to reduce the cost as cheap as possible, with a guaranteed return for the farmer. taught me a simple thing. You're a good student, the higher studies is good, but these are useless if you cannot bring smiles to someone else's face. I think I can slog another 100 years. Nobody can stop me. Biplab, congratulations on this amazing award. Uh, so tell me, in the last 18 months, how have you fared during the pandemic and what are some of the recent challenges you've been facing? Yeah, pandemic was very difficult. Uh, we had economical challenges, social challenges. Migrated population has the biggest challenge because it, they were devastated, there was no job. The worst was the psychological challenges, both aged population and young population. 
we faced very tough time, but now we are going forward. Yeah, that's wonderful. You've inspired so many. What inspires you? The smiles on people's face, the way <laughs> they smile, the way when they get food, nobody can stop you. Nobody. <laughs> that's terrific. Um, so tell me what's next for you. How are you going to honor this award and, and take it forward? Oh, I have already planned something big. I, I have gone through and Meridian was very supportive. Ambassador Halita Sarah was very supportive and Meridian team. I'm now thinking of creating a team among the alumni, senior and junior, senior, earlier alumni and this years. And we are planning, to, I'm planning to create an innovative idea which can be secretariat in, in Washington, DC. And then we like to find the best innovative ideas across the globe in any field and support them for the betterment of the people where smile is the important factor. And we can do it. That's fantastic. So yeah, so putting it forward to bringing more smiles on more faces. I love that yeah. idea. That's money will come, money will go, but the heart is more important. Heart to heart relationship is very important. That's absolutely so true. So finally, what should our audience, which is mostly American, be taking into consideration as we look to tackle issues of climate change, equity, and justice? So many. Actually, yeah. I have learned I have, I have identified my Bhungru innovation from Miami, where you are using the different way of water. I, I, I reformulated the whole technology from rainwater. You are doing the subsoil aquifer. So there is a knowledge, there is a strain. Identify, open your eyes, and try to do the smallest thing, the smallest thing at a local level. Identify the person who, who needs food. Give him whatever the small food you can yeah. give. Identify the places where water can be saved. Just do it. Energy can be saved. Just do it. And as a whole, even if you don't have money, don't have time, just share your knowledge. I am I am grateful. I, we are hosting the Fulbright Scholar. We are all good people in India from going to Fulbright also. So we are now trying to create a multidisciplinary knowledge support services. In this audience, there are nearly 140 people. 